Hey guys, welcome to the channel. It's been such a long time since the last I posted, but now I'm back and I'm so happy. So for this video, I wanted to show you how to make what I call this uh, cooked pesto paste. And this is something that I do at home a lot, um, especially when I have a lot of veggies around. And I love making it because it's something that I always have in the fridge and it's very versatile because you can use it in a lot of things. And also you can freeze it. So I just wanted to show you this, uh, how to make this because you know, now that we are, many of us are in lockdown and we really have to make the most of the food that we have. So today I'm making it with broccoli and peas and it's literally because it's the, what I have at home. But you can use any combination of vegetables or just one vegetables. So every time you make it, you, you know, you can make it with different vegetables so you have different flavors. So let's all go to the video and then after the video I'll show you how I use it and how you can keep it and all that sort of thing. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and this will let you know, YouTube will notify you every time I put up a, a new video. So let's go on to the videos and I'll see you after. So the first thing that we need to do is chop the ingredients, that's the onion, the garlic and the tomatoes. They don't need to be chopped very finely because we're going to put the, all the mix in the food processor later on. So you just need to chop it so it's easier for the food processor to do its job. Now the broccoli I have steam in the microwave. You can boil it or you can use a steamer to um, steam it. The important thing is to cook the broccoli as much as possible because we want it to be as soft as it can be. Although later on we're gonna finish the cooking in the, um, in the hob. But for now um, we need to cook the broccoli as soft as possible. So in a deep pan, just put a little bit of olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever you have. And we add the chopped broccoli, uh, the tomatoes, the onions and the garlic. And we're going to leave this to cook for about half an hour, 40 minutes with approximately about uh, half a cup of water or a little bit more. The idea is for the vegetables to soften, not necessarily to, to brown. We're not stir frying, we're just trying to make the vegetables to soften. Once the vegetables are cooked and are soft, we can season with a little bit of salt and black pepper. You can also add some herbs, but I'm trying to keep this base neutral, so I'm just going to use salt and black pepper. After seasoning the broccoli, we can add the peas. I'm using uh, tin peas, but you can also use frozen peas or fresh peas as well. So I'm gonna put about three tablespoons or three big spoons of the mix separate because I'm gonna cook with it later. I will show you um, 
once we get to that stage. So once everything has mixed, the peas or broccoli, everything has been seasoned, then we can put it through a food processor or blender, whatever you may have at home. And this is to make a paste because then when we're going to use it then we want it to be a, it to what we want it to be like a sauce so you can put it through a blender and just make it quite fine so it makes a paste I like to make this uh, paste quite regular at home when I have vegetables lying around in the fridge that maybe they're coming to the end of their of their time and so once all the paste is done I like to put it in a jar in a well sealed container and then leave it in the fridge and that can last even for two weeks in the in the fridge and then from this we can um, take every time we cook. Now I wanted to show you one of the ways that I like to use this paste. So I'm doing it as a pasta soap. So in a deep pan, I've added a little bit of olive oil. You can use vegetable oil, whatever oil you have. And I've added three spoonfuls of the paste. Now, cause I'm doing it with pasta. I took about a cup of the pasta water. So I'm adding a little bit to start to dissolve uh, the paste and start to create uh, the water. I'm also adding the three spoonfuls of the peas and broccoli before uh, putting it in the food processor. And the, the reason for this is just I wanted to uh, show what the paste had and also to give it a little bit of texture as well. So literally I'm just uh, up stirring and adding pasta water as needed to create a sauce. I've added also a little bit of chopped parsley. You can use parsley, you can um, add other herbs that you have. Once the sauce is like a sauce, like a thick sauce, then you can add the pasta. At this point, if you're not using pasta or you're adding or you're using uh, meat, you, you add the meat. So shredded meat, chicken, beef, uh, tuna, whatever you have. I'm also adding a little bit of grated Parmesan cheese and this is to give it not only the cheesy flavor but also a little bit of ooziness. So on top of this, I like to always use a little bit of, of acidity, it just boosts the flavor. So I'm adding uh, about a tablespoon or so of lemon juice. Uh, this is optional but I really really recommend using it and just stirring a little bit so everything gets mixed together. Once this is done, you're ready to serve. Uh, I'm just serving it here on a normal bowl but now this is ready to serve. You can also uh, add at this point once you're served a little bit more of extra parmesan cheese if you like that but you know it's, it's really delicious as it is right now. Okay, so now you've seen how I use it. Uh, for this video, I use it as a pasta sauce and, and, and obviously I added the pasta to it. But you, if you have leftover meats, whether it's chicken, beef, uh, fish, tuna, you can shred it and instead of pasta, you can add the meat to it. You can also use it to boost the, uh, the, the soup of a flavor. So you can add two or three tablespoons to the soup and it will disappear because it's a paste, but it will boost the flavor of the soup and also would add more goodness to it. So it's a really versatile paste to have at home. To keep it, I like to put it in a glass container uh, and just keep it in the fridge. It will last approximately about two weeks. If you want, you can add olive oil and then olive oil acts, acts as a natural preservative. So you can add that. You can also freeze it. So you can make little pouches of it, say for one or two portions, you can, and then just freeze it. If you're adding it to the soup, you don't need to even thaw it, just put it in or frozen and it will be fine. Or you can just thaw it if you're doing it as a pasta sauce or, or with meat. So it, it's a really versatile um, paste to have. And because you can, you can do any mix of vegetables that you like, it, everyone, you can, um, uh, make it to your own taste. So I really hope you liked this video and that it was helpful, especially nowadays in our lockdown. So um, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so YouTube notifies you when I put a new video and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.